Hey guys, I'm Jesse, and welcome to the Cinema Footy tutorial. Today I'm going to look at low polygon style. If you've noticed this on the internet, I've seen it more often, more recently, and it's the style in which a lot of models are styled instead of being very hyper-realistic, they're very low polygon, and so kind of cartoonish. So I'm going to create a very basic scene with this and just show you guys how to model something using low polygon style. So what I'm going to do is just create an island with some water. And that should show you pretty much all you need to know for creating low polygon. So to get started, I'm going to create the island, just use a landscape um, object, and choose this little orange dot along the y-axis, and this will increase the height. I don't want to make a mountain, but I want something that will stand out of the water. And I'll probably have the water around the uh, x, y, x, z plane. So this looks pretty good, but if I render this quickly, you'll notice it looks pretty smooth. We can kind of notice a few boxy outlines here and there, but for the most part, this looks really smooth. Nothing low polygon about it. So how do we do the low polygon? For starters, what we have to do is remove the Fong tag. And what this is, is right here, these two little balls. What the Fong tag does is it tries to smoothen out an object. So it takes all the polygons right next to each other, and assumes that they're within a certain angle of each other and tries to smoothen them out. So let's just delete this. And already we can see that it's gotten a lot more polygon. So it still has too many polygons, so I'm going to remove some of them by changing the width and the height depth segment in the attributes for the landscape. So I'll just lower these kind of to 60 each. This looks all right, but it could go a lot further. And to reduce the polygons a lot more, I'm actually not going to use this width and depth segments. I'm going to use a deformer right here. So click and hold and find yourself the polygon reduction. Select it and drag it into the landscape object. Right away, you'll notice that the polygons have been immensely reduced. And I actually like it as it is right now. If you don't, just make sure you have your polygon reduction selected and lower or increase your reduction strength. So if you want less, if you want more, I liked it around 90%. That was pretty good. It had, it had a nice balance of both reduction, but still the original shape was there. So this is pretty good for the landscape. So I feel like I'm done with the landscape. We can create an island out of it instead of having this square box around it by selecting a cylinder. And what we're going to do is use the bool to cut out part of the island. So I'm kind of going to flesh out with the cylinder where I want the island to start. And then I'm going to use the bool tool, put drop in the cylinder and drop in the landscape and make sure we have, let's see, are they both proper? A intersect B. And I'm going to create a single object out of that and make sure the func tag there is deleted. So now I have a bool tool, a bool object that just has the island part of the landscape. And now if I want to make this editable, I can just click C, keyboard shortcut, and we have our landscape cylinder object. So this is basically our island. Now I want to add the water, and the water is very straightforward. For this, I'm just going to use a plane and make it really big. I'm actually going to exaggerate how big it is, so I'm going to make it 10,000 by 10,000 and we can't actually see the polygons. So to let display them, let's select grid shading with lines. Now, right now each polygon is huge. This would be one single wave. So let's try 200 by 200. And this is a lot better. So we could probably increase oops, this a little bit more to have smaller waves. But compared to this island, this looks pretty decent. So I'm going to leave this as is but I'm going to make it actually look like water. Right now, if I render it, it's just a flat plane. There's nothing watery about it. It doesn't move up and down or anything like that. So to do that, I'm going to add another deformer to this. I'm not going to use the polygon reduction tool. Instead, I'm going to add the displacer. So I'm going to drag the displacer into the plane. And right now, nothing happens. But if you select the shading tab under the attributes of your displacer, add a shader and I'll add just the noise, which is pretty good. And what this does is it basically randomizes the height of the plane using this noise texture. And again, we have to delete the funk tag of the plane. 
and now we have something that's a lot more like water. It's also taking a little longer time to render everything, but that's all right. So if I render this really quickly, it looks a little more low polygon. Of course, now we want an actual scene out of this. This looks rather boring to me at least. So the first thing that you can do to heighten a little bit of interest is go into your render settings and add an effect, the ambient occlusion. And if I just drag this off to the side and render it, what you might be able to see in a few spots is maybe like right there just a little bit. It darkens it a little bit and what ambient occlusion tries to do is darken sharp corners. So I'm actually going to increase the contrast of it, maybe 60%. And yeah, you can see a little more like right here and definitely back here and, and along the border between the island and the water, it's got kind of a slightly darker ridge, which is, it adds a little bit of interest. But now the most interest comes from the coloring. And if you've ever seen low poly stuff, it looks very cartoonish. The colors are bright and they're happy. I've, I haven't seen anything dark, uh, moody, Edward Gorey kind of stuff done using low polygons. So I'm going to create the island and to do this instead of one color. So if I just picked one color, let's make a nice bright green that might be a bit too bright. And if I add this to the landscape and render right now, it looks all right, but it's just one color. And I, I kind of want the interest of having two colors. So to do this, select your mat and select this texture, little arrow and gradient and select the gradient icon and double click on these little boxes to change the colors. And I'm going to make a dark one and kind of a brighter one. And they're pretty close to each other actually. So let's change the color a little bit and maybe make this one just a touch darker. And now if I render it, you'll notice it kind of adds a little bit of interest throughout the object. and as you notice, it doesn't make a nice gradient throughout the entire object, but instead with each of the little polygons, it almost kind of randomizes them. So actually, this contrast is a little bit too much. You can see it too clearly that it moves from the dark spots to the light spots. But for the most part, for right now, this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. So I can move on to the water. And I'll do kind of the same thing with the water. So noise, oops, sorry, uh, gradient for the color. And I'm going to make the water really kind of bright and happy looking. And I'm actually going to start with the darkest one, the most normal water and add another one. So to add another one, just kind of click in this gray bar and let's brighten this up just a little bit. And then the really bright one. And we can change how much of each we have by dragging these little boxes around. So now let's drag this onto the water and render that. And we have a scene that looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look beautiful. I just spent about 10 minutes making this, but it looks like something. We can add other stuff. For example, if I want a light, so let's rotate this so we can actually see the effect and angle it down a bit and maybe add some shadows to this if we need to. And now if I render this, we have something that looks a little bit more realistic. Notice it's taking my computer a little bit longer to render. Of course, my computer's kind of old and kind of slow, but it looks pretty decent. Actually, one other thing that we can do to the water is add some reflection. That's always nice. We don't want full reflection. We don't want a chrome water, but maybe around 25. Let's see how that looks. This will just get maybe just a touch of the island reflected. I can see just a little bit right here. I, I would probably add a little bit more. So just ramp this up. So that's basically how you can do low polygon. First of all, you want to remove the font tag. And then second of all, you'll probably want to use polygon reduction depending on the object. Notice I didn't use polygon reduction on the water. That's because I already have pretty reduced polygons. Now, one last thing that you can do, and I just rendered this <laughs> briefly out of habit. One last thing that you can do is animate this water. And I'm sure you're wondering because if I click play, nothing happens. So go back to the plane and remember how we had this displacer and we had this noise. 
Well, click on this little noise box, this texture here. And in the attributes for that, I'm going to drag this up, you have a lot of little tags, and one of them is important, this animation speed. If I turn this up to anything other than zero, one, and now I click play, suddenly the water is moving. Suddenly we get something interesting in the scene. So if you want to animate this, this is how you want to animate your water. Just kind of move up your animation speed. If you want really fast water, I've never actually tried this, so let's try 10 and just see what happens. So now, now it's kind of crazy. I kind of like the lolling speed of one. It just kind of gives it this nice ebb and flow. Anyway, that's all the basics that you need to know on how to do low polygon style. I look forward to you guys actually doing stuff with this. If you created something, paste a link. I don't know if YouTube allows that kind of stuff anymore, but paste a link to pictures and I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.